Hi, I'm Paul Sullenberger. In today's video, we're going to go over the basic maintenance and cleaning for ceramic speed bottom bracket bearings. And this process is similar for wheel hub bearings as well. Starting with our bike in a stand, we'll go ahead and remove the crank following the original manufacturer's guidelines. Get access to the bearings to do on-bike cleaning. When you remove the first side of the crank, take careful note for any spacers, washers, and dust covers. We'll put these on in the same order once we're done maintaining the bearings. We'll go ahead and lift off our dust covers and take note of which side faces the bearing, which side is the outboard side. We'll set this aside. You wanna go ahead and wipe everything clean so it'll be clean to start with. We'll go ahead and wipe off the face of each bearing and then we're gonna lift off the seal using a fine edge knife. We'll come in. We're gonna go from the inside edge of the seal, lifting up lightly. And with even pressure, We'll remove the seal, keeping it from getting bent. If needed, you make sure it stays flat or use a replacement seal. The bearing face now exposed, we're ready to go ahead and clean out and re-grease. Using a spray bottle, we're gonna use isopropyl alcohol or a similar spirit to help break down the grease and help clean the bearings out. We'll agitate through the inner ring and then we're gonna use compressed air to flush it out. After about 20 to 30 seconds, we'll go ahead Give it a rinse, and again, agitate. We'll repeat this process two to three times to fully clean out and flush out all contaminants. Now that the bearings are clean, we'll go ahead and reapply grease to the proper fill rate and using the specific grease for your needs, and reapply the seal. Using the ceramic speed, either blue grease or long life tan grease, we'll go ahead and provide an even face fill rate here. And with the blue grease, we look around a 60 to 70% fill rate. The long life grease can go up to an 80 to 100% fill rate. We'll start with the seal in the center of the grease, get a bit of a squeegee effect, bringing the grease around and just using the tip of the finger Engage the seal, making sure it's flat, and the inner race rotates smoothly. We'll repeat the process on the other side, and you're ready to reassemble. Taking careful note for the raised inner lip for the inboard side of the dust cover, we'll slide this over the spindle. I like to apply a little bit of grease along the spindle and the edge of the dust cover, helping create a light and thin moisture barrier. Slide through. Make sure everything's running smoothly. No contact points dragging. This is a 30 mil spindle design connected on the non-drive side. A Shimano, a GXP, or a dub system will have the spindle connected to the drive side and go through in the opposite order. Again, take a note for the specific side of the dust cover. We'll get a little grease on the back of it here. We'll align our spacers an O-ring or wavy washer. Get everything set up. Next, we'll apply some grease to the inside of the crank and bolt everything together. And depending on if you have the ceramic speed blue grease or the long life grease, either is acceptable to use for all these pieces of the maintenance. Being mindful of our chain, Get the alignment of the crank in order. Thread into place. We'll go ahead and check. Confirm your torque spec for the crank to get to a proper torque. And then you also want to remove the chain, make sure the crank is free spinning, ensure there's not too much preload and that there's no lateral play side to side. Once everything's torqued down appropriately, you're ready to go ride. 